is the Alpharetta Director of City Planning. So, I'll let Kevin take that. Thank you very much. <laughs> 29 years. Oh, 28. 28, 28, 28. 28. So I have a couple, they, they always, uh, they kid me up in the um, Human Resource Department. Like, no, you have more time, you have more time. But I love it. I'm gonna. I, I'm. I'm able to. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm able to. And I, I'm not gonna just stand though. I gotta walk. But I'll do my best. Okay. As long as you stay in frame. Yeah. This this video is gonna be all over the place, and we want you to be in frame always. <laughs> don't, don't get nervous. Yeah. That's, no. I'm There's just, more I, seats over here if anyone wants to sit down. Yeah, and actually, with the uh, the public hearings. You know, those are live and those are videos. Right. So there's plenty of, of videos, but this is a, this is something I like to do because it's nice to be in this kind of setting, so we can you know talk about things that are important to you. And what I'm going to do is go through, uh, start this, and then of course, if you have any questions or want to stop me while I have something up on the screen, go ahead. Feel free to do that, so we can talk about it. But as you know, Alfred has been booming for for many years. It's funny because. We keep thinking, is there going to be, you know, a, a slowdown? And I'm sure all of you think that same thing too. But we, we think about that also. But we haven't seen it. We're just as busy now as we've been for the last uh, five years. So that's a good thing. It's a good thing for us. Yes. And so I'm going to give you a little bit of, we're going to talk about some different areas in the city. But I want to talk about downtown. Of course, downtown, what the city did is build some pretty good bones. And so now what we're seeing is kind of what I call the fun stuff because you're having some of those, um, the mom and pops, and we have people that aren't really developers that are building some pretty special buildings in downtown. Uh, we were able to get Roswell Provisions. They're going to build their location. It's called Alpharetta Provisions, of course, and they're on Canton Street in Roswell. So she's going to actually take the whole first floor of this building. Now, this building is located beside of Maid. It's, uh, there's an old ranch um, style yes. house there, so they'll be removing this uh, to build this. Okay. He, we have such a demand for office. He is just getting his permit, but he's already fully leased, I hear, with, with the office, which is a really great thing. <laughs> so that one's just permitted, you'll start to see that going up. And he is gonna save the little historic house that's in front, which it just makes that a super cool um, mm -hmm. little development. And here's a close-up. And then the uh, the owner of the Alpharetta Provision, she, you know, she's very creative. She wants that outdoor space. So she'll actually have um, home goods. She'll actually have a uh, store with, um, and then a coffee shop. So all of that will be blended at this location. It's nice outside the office. Oh, nice. yes. yeah. Another big thing that helps development in a city, of course, is parking. Mm -hmm. So. We, this is actually the deck that is almost complete. It's supposed to be complete by the end of the month. And this is um, the side of the vet mm -hmm. clinic. And you'll see it's, it's actually supposed to be on CoStar, the commercial um, real estate mm -hmm. site. Mm -hmm. uh, this week, we have two condos that are for sale. See, i got to plug that while I'm here. Too. Yeah. 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 So there's two, two condo condos. spaces on the front that are going to be uh, for purchase. And there's a small uh, 800 square foot condo that the city's going to keep for a uh, police uh, presence. So there'll be like the bicycle police and yeah, they'll have a nice little information almost um, type of office here. So we've already had people that are asking us about this, but one of the, uh, one of our code requirements for downtown is to make sure that we have that active space on the front. So that's why we built the condo spaces because we don't want to just have that dead space. So. That's something that you'll see um, that's advertised. What's the somewhere. price range on those condos? We did. We just put it for bid. Uh, mm. We didn't set the price. Yeah. Mm. So two Was condos. Was there a reserve spaces. or anything? No. Huh. No. Mm. But this is what we did because we're government. We actually put it first oh, on like nice. a surplus mm. government oh. site, and so then I was saying, you know, no, this is prime real estate. Yeah. yeah. Hello. It, we need to go a different <laughs> route. So. That's why it's been re re advertised. But that's inside that building. Yeah, it's right in the front. Yeah, right there in the front. At the bottom of the park. It's right there. So it's the condo the space in front of that park. Yeah, yeah, the park Residential. Behind it and right behind it. No, this is office. retail. Office. Yeah. Well, it's actually retail, restaurant, or office. Um, but we have had a lot of people asking already. So it's these spaces. The the police will actually be here at this last 
little so pay, attention, pay attention to that. I so how do you access by car? Where's the I access? believe. Um, the entrance is here. Okay. It's for sale, not for rent, right? Yes, sale. Yeah. Sale. Yeah. 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 So it's more like an investor that would buy. Yeah. Because they'd have two condo units that they can rent out. So first start. What's the address? Uh, I think it's 44 Milton Avenue. What's it's Milton Avenue? 40. I might take a picture of that. Yeah. Wait a minute. It says it's right next to the Bennett. 52. Yeah. Like it's 52. Yeah. 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 So it's right across from. And this has about, there's about 200, a little over 200 parking spaces here, so it already has its built-in parking. And of course, Coalition, one of the reasons they came to Alpharetta is they were concerned about parking in Roswell. I'm sorry. You I have a question. Like, are the high school students, or I've heard a lot of controversy about parking at the new high school, mm -hmm. and is this parking deck going to get end up in the parking for the high school and not really for people who try to use that time? It won't be. We'll have to monitor it. Now, the school board, the reason you get so many high schoolers that will park off-site is because they charge a fee for parking. And so they, they charge a fee for parking permits. So they've, we've talked to them about not charging that fee, which would encourage the kids to park over there. But if it becomes a problem, the council's already said that we're going to have to have um, an officer that monitors it mm -hmm. in the morning. Uh, it may end up that it's closed prior to 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. um, and Smart. then if you have an off, if you're an office worker, of course you just have to show. Yeah. So there's a lot of different things that we will do because it is important because this is actually this is paid with um, taxpayers' right. Right. dollars. So the school has been really, really good about trying to work with this. They understand that. So. Okay. And then this just a map of where that's located in case anybody is trying to figure out where that's located. And I didn't really mean to come in here and plug that, but it was, a, I thought, when I was here. Yeah, it's an interesting fact. So here you can see that deck located here. Mm -hmm. And then this is, of course, the uh, proposed uh, Curio Hotel. Mm -hmm. A lot of stall uh, in this project. There's this owner actually has about three other projects going on in Alpharetta. They're the ones that are building. Uh, Webb at Morris, the huge um, daycare slash pre-K school. So they're also the ones that are building the Maxwell, which I'll show, show you both of those in a, in a few minutes. So with this, with the Curio Hotel, it's really difficult to get hotels in, in Alpharetta. And this will be our first, what's considered a boutique hotel. Um, they actually, on the first floor, they have a restaurant. I can't announce who, who that is. Um, they had a spa, but I think what's going to happen is that restaurant is going to spread into, it's going to be a larger restaurant, two different restaurants. So look for that to be, I believe he's going to try to wait till July. Um, but there was a lot of surveying issues that have been cleared up, so I think they're going to be going forward um, very soon. And it, it's still a curio, which is, is a nice addition to Alpharetta. Mm -hmm. When, excuse me, when you say Curio, it's the Cotton House, is that the, that's the name of the hotel? Yeah, it'll be the Cotton House Hotel, but it's a Curio brand. Brand, yes. Okay. yes. Okay. So this is a good rendering to show, you know, what's coming on that street. You can see the um, uh, Teasley building behind mm -hmm. that, and then you can see the scale of, of the parking deck. There's the back of that hotel. And this is planned to be, so this is the back of the hotel, so this is planned to be a pedestrian walkway. So you'll have that connection um, from Canton Street to Old Canton Street, and it'll be about a 20-foot pedestrian alleyway through there. And then, of course, that the rest of that property is not developed. So what that does is set it up to where, when they do build, you can have openings on this alley. You know, you've seen the alleyways where they have the lights that are stretched, you know, across mm -hmm. from the buildings that get created. So that's something that we're looking for them to do. And this will be, of course, a, a public alley art, you know, everything on this wall. So it's something that could be nice. even for events. Here's the way that you will be passing through on Milton Avenue to get back to the public park that they have, as well as that alleyway. This building here that's shown to the left, that's that old theater building. He's actually, I didn't bring that today, but he actually submitted now that that's gonna be uh, refaced. It's gonna have a different face. And the owner is actually gonna live He's added another floor to it, so he's going to have his own uh, private condo oh. on the top of this. Uh, but this is actually going to be Aria. This is uh, the owner of Aria, bought this many, many years ago, so he's moving his salon over here. 
Milton Avenue, we're doing a lot to try to get Milton Avenue better for events that we have. Um, when you're looking at the streetscape, they have these just these small hollies that are located through here. And we started looking at, you know, like downtown Greenville, different places where you actually have a tree canopy over these yeah. streets. And if you think about all the different events that we're having, uh, there should be a really nice canopy and some and taking out some of those bricks. Um, it, I mean, some of the uh, curb and gutter and making a smooth transition. So if you'll see some improvements to Milton, uh, of course, the, the hotel is going to do all of this section and they're going to build the crosswalk. Another problem, people are darting in and out of those yes. cars. Yes. So this will actually give a very wide area that it's not hard to figure out where are they supposed to cross. So they will lose some parking through here. There'll be a lot of that, that parking, but the other thing the parking does when you have that angle of parking, it's really kind of blocking the fronts of these uh, stores. Mm -hmm. Not very attractive when they're kind of behind um, the cars. So you may even see this eventually in the future where it's, it's on street parking that's parallel instead of the angle. So one car, you know, is better than a bunch of that are stacked. So yes, this is removing parking. Too, I think. Yes, it's removing parking, but it makes it safer. It's to try to, oh, it's to try to make it more of an event location on the street. So those are some of the important things that we're looking at is, is getting that canopy so it just feels differently. Big cost, 1.5 million to put the wow. utilities underground. Wow. So you know, we have people that have bought all of the, those um, buildings and they want to actually put big uh, balconies on the front. Can't do it with the utilities going across. So still working with Georgia Power, trying to get some good pricing for this. But you, you'll see this part first and you're gonna say, why are they doing half the street? Well, that's because when the, the hotel was required by their um, conditions to finish it. So what do you think the time on this this part will be very quick this will be done within probably a year their part and going across the street they have to do this too so there's other renderings that show us going the entire street that's like a five million dollar project so it'll be done in phases yeah if anybody has a good connection with georgia power that would do it cheaper that would be great it's <laughs> like we don't <laughs> um, 217 South Main Street. I don't, you know where the Dairy Queen is located? Mm -hmm. um, this is actually, everybody says, oh, that's the DUI lady. <laughs> because, of, because of the signage that's there. That's not right. because people know where it is. Or just because <laughs> the sign. But anyway, this is actually an office building that's proposed. It's, it's a bank um, that's looking at it. So this would be their corporate office there. They're not looking at, uh, what am I going to say? Uh, they are not looking at putting any kind of retail or restaurant on the first floor at this time. He said he may have a small, but there's so much retail and restaurant along Main Street. Yeah, it's not yeah. something that we a have, lot of have to a lot have. Of yeah. Yeah. So this is still considered in our downtown. And you can see across the street, this is the project that's under construction. I think this is next on, oh, my, yeah. on my presentation. But um, and this is the same person, actually, that's um, doing the hotel that I just showed you. Oh, so they have a lot of, of projects. Wow. And this is across the street, and, and this is in the downtown. That's why you see this kind of a style of architecture, because it's within the, the downtown area. So, of course, now they've already demoed this bag and shopping center, and the design review board has approved this uh, building at the rear. Thank you, Katie. Yeah. And so we have the buildings at the front that they have just approved. So. You know, the problem with this is there's so much parking along the front. Yeah. You know, it's not, not as interesting for people to walk to, and we're just becoming so much more walkable with the Alpha Loop and, and sidewalks, wide sidewalks. So now you'll see that they actually have buildings along the front. This is the residential that's at the back. So this is Providence Group mm -hmm. here. Oh, okay. And they have submitted all of their elevations. It's, it's, it kind of reminds me of some different projects they have in um, downtown Roswell, where it has the flat roof, very kind of mill look. Yeah. Um, they've said the price range is 350 to 450. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> it always starts going up. Uh, and that's one of the things that we're seeing. It's just that you know all the prices, of course, are. are I'm not telling you anything you don't know. In, in construction phase right now. Yeah, they've already submitted for building yeah, permits. Yeah. So they're... And, and these 
these are single family and detached. They're single family detached as well as condos. Yeah. Interesting. Can, can I ask you, with the Providence Group doing the residential, who is the developer doing the office in Marketplace? Uh, Mayfield Properties. Mayfield Properties. Mayfield Properties, and they have a, like, they're building a hotel on um, Webb Bridge right now. Then wow. they also have the hotel on in downtown. Curious. The hotel on Webb was already allowed from like a 1980s zoning, so mm -hmm. not a lot we could have done about that. But what is, is the that's not the, I'm sorry. Yeah. Is, the, is the, the hotel on Webb Bridge, is that the, the um, no, that extended hotel. stay? No, it's not that built yet. It's right beside of the, where the school's going, the big okay. brick school that's going up. They have an out parcel that's zoned yeah, for yeah. a hotel, and it's not allowed to be an extended yeah. stay. Um, hotel. It's got to be a full service yeah. hotel. <coughs> what is the name of that? I can't see the, the side street there. Uh, that's Devore. Devore. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's Devore. So a lot of changes on Devore. This is going to change a, a lot with the walkability oh, and yes. everything on Main Street. Um, I just have to plug Urban Hardware. Who's everybody used to always ask me when I when's the old Walmart grocery going to get? Um, going to get. Um, Something new, so uh, when we put this together, of course, at, at the time they were coming, but they, they are actually now open. Mm -hmm. Very nice, um, kind of an upscale hardware store. I need to go in there. It's nice. I've heard it's nice. I haven't been in. They this is really neat. A lot of people ask me, what about that burnt down McDonald's? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. what about that? Well, it's going to be a. Well, that's why it has to sit there that way for so long because you have investigators that have to clear it. You know, the insurance companies have to clear it. So that's why now it's just been recently um, dem uh, demoed. But we have uh, the North Fulton Compound Pharmacy that wants to build this uh, two story brick, nice. painted brick nice. building. I go there. Do you? So, so are they, are they, are they, are they staying in their actual location? Just no they're moving. moving. Yeah. yeah, they are. Let me tell you, they are fabulous. They are so I mean, wonderful. They really are. I mean, it's uh, it's the way to go. So behind are that, you? where the school Amanda is, is all that staying the same? It's yes. just this yes. one yes. spot. Yes. Okay. This will go back in the spot where the yeah. McDonald's. And you're going to show us in the Matilda spot next. Right. There's nothing right. in that spot. <laughs> Oh, Matilda. Oh, Magnolia. Magnolia. It may be on here. Okay. Villa Magnolia. Okay. Um, this is this is some office buildings that's been approved in, on Old Milton Parkway, mm -hmm. and this uh, this is actually the developer that's building the condos on Thompson Street. I think they're listed for eight hundred thousand the condos, flats, yeah. the flats, and then this awesome. is actually behind it. Uh, two office buildings, and this is going to tear down the old little funeral home. Oh, oh yeah. 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 So to be the two, the two office buildings that go in. Where do we go when we die? <laughs> 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 Somewhere else. Hopefully to heaven. Yeah. <laughs> Sprinkle the ash. And then here, this is actually on Old Milton. This is on Old Milton. Yeah. Also, yeah. you see a lot of changes on Old Milton over yeah. here since Avalon was approved. Yeah. So this is the medical, um, Northside Medical, that's been approved on Old Milton. For more medical? Yeah, and you know, it's across from Wellstar. Once Wellstar was under construction, then the, you know, the competitors come in. So they are approved across the street. And that was just approved a couple of months ago, so they haven't pulled the permits to get that started. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But really, not. We've, we've seen a lot of medical on Old Milton Parkway. Yeah. I think that's really the yeah, medical um, coming from the quarter. Yeah, and great companies. I mean, mm -hmm. And then I want to talk about the Alpha Loop. I don't know if you're familiar with what that is, but that is our kind of our multi-use trail system that's similar to the Beltline because what's different from this, different from the Greenway, is that this is connecting some major, um, you know, employment centers and retail and restaurant shopping. So. This was a way, just like the Beltline did, to connect these more urban areas. So we started off with looking at, you know, downtown Alpharetta, Avalon, North Winds. There's a lot of construction there now, and then North Point of how to connect that. So we have about eight uh, miles right now that are planned. We only have one mile that's almost complete. So lots to do that on that. That's an expensive project. So the, the one mile hit, the one mile piece that's almost finished is the piece that will take you from downtown Alpharetta 
over to Avalon. So that runs along the creek on Thompson Street, that residential area. Mm -hmm. There's a public easement, it's 12 foot long, mm -hmm. that's been constructed. So people will be able to park either at um, you know City Center or Avalon, use this trail, and right there in the middle, there's actually a public stormwater park, very small. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's good stops along the way. Of course, this is where Chewy's and everything's located. Yeah. Um, but that one mile walk or bike, that should be open. We have a, a 300 foot section that's missing that we're under negotiations to get that constructed. Have y'all done the Beltline downtown? Yes. Yeah, yeah. it's amazing. Yeah, it, 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 it really is. I mean, I don't think anything has had that singular impact. I know. It's, it's really, area. absolutely. That's what we tell all the developers with the retail that's redeveloping, and you'll, look, you'll see North Point in a minute, but green space is the new anchor as well as mm -hmm. the trails. Having the trails is so important. Kathy, so that is a public trail? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yep. Public. And so within Boise, um, here, it's actually, some of these are elevated, so they're, you know, maybe about 15 feet in height mm -hmm. because we wanted to weave it in between the trees. There's um, some bridges that are crossed. So, you know, we, we were thinking about it. We thought anybody can, you know, clear and put an on-grade sidewalk, but that's not the experience. We're looking for more of like a canopy walk in some of these areas. Mm -hmm. um, something similar to the botanical gardens. So a lot of these areas, very expensive to build, but that's because council wants to make sure that we're doing it you know, the right way and get the right experience. Because um, anybody can walk on the sidewalk along Old Milton Parkway, you know, but what should this be like? Right. So is this gonna be, is the trail gonna be managed and maintained by the city? Yes. Versus the Greenway is managed and maintained by the state? No, no the city the maintains the Greenway too. also. So here's another, here's another uh, location of where the Alpha Loop is gonna go through. I showed you a few minutes ago mm -hmm. the, the Maxwell, which is under construction. And then of course, this is where the, D, the DUI lady, all of that's located here. And this is showing how that Alpha Loop, and there's the Providence Group, is gonna be running through the middle of that project, mm -hmm. the 12 foot yes. trail. This is a new roadway that's gonna be built. Um, uh, GDOT is gonna build that, there's already funding for that. So that trail will be able to take people over to Wills Park. And so that's just that one section that we have. Hmm. Interesting. Here's another section we just gotta, we find out, uh, actually the announcement can't go out until after one today from the Atlanta mm -hmm. Regional, oh no, I'm not live, so it doesn't matter. No. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyways, anyways can post this till after. And yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, they have awarded us $150,000 to start studying exactly where this loop connection should go as we connect over to North Point. This is one of the biggest parts of the develop, redevelopment of North Point, is getting over to the Greenway. Yeah. The Greenway exists there. That's why this area is just gonna, it's gonna, mm -hmm. sky, it's just gonna take off because it has all those bones. It has the Alpha Loop that will go into Encore. Beautiful new bridge, of course, that was reconstructed, and then you'll get across uh, to the Greenway. So I, I really think that this is going to be the area of the future. What is that red light? That is going down uh, west side. This is on the this is on the north side of um, this is in, it's, 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 it's a wooded area. It's actually a tree buffer. Okay. So this is where the trail would be between Fort the Alpha Loop and West Side. Behind you. Yes. Yeah. Okay. There's 120 feet of tree buffer, so we would of course try to move it, you know, as far away from um, actual 400. Does it go, what's that new place that's similar to Karab? It's called the Diner or something? Um, oh, bridge where yes. Where used to be? Is that, are you going to talk about that at all? That'll be there, that'll be there also. Here it is. Which it's, you that, can't, you uh, can't really see it, but the green is showing the Alpha Loop location. Okay. That is the biggest part of that. You know line. when that's going up? I think they need like seven million dollars to... Yeah. yeah. Let's have a fundraiser. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe a bake sale. <laughs> Which is funny. Yeah, yeah really. Oh, you are pretty <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. we actually think that we could, uh, we think that private money would pay for that. It's just that a group hasn't been formed to collect the private money, and government can't do that. Oh. Uh, we can't go out, since, since I'm going to be giving permits to people that want to add on to the building, I can't be asking for money. Also, so a lot of the Beltline has had private money, 
but we haven't had um, anybody that's kind of organized getting that group together and, and because I've had a lot of these office buildings through here in Northlands have said, hey, you know, we're going to give you money towards this as soon as you, you know, but nobody's really organizing to see how much they're going to give and all. So that's something that we have to, to get going. But we've been very focused on this one mile yeah. section yeah. Yeah. that's almost finished. And then this section too, since the, the Atlanta Regional Commission is going to help us with that, we're going to figure out what's the best location okay. within that buffer. This is something you've probably seen under construction right now. This is Haynes Bridge, 400. And this has the big wall, the, the stone wall at the front, and it says the summit. Yes. So they have a uh, tapest tapestry, tapestry hotel that they're going to build there on Marriott. And then they also have the, uh, this is 120 apartments. And then here they have condos, but Monty Hewitt is taking that property now, and he's going to go to council and ask for detached executive homes. So it's only like 10 that will go there, but he's going to council next month to ask that this area uh, be detached homes. Hmm. Will it have access other than um, Haynesbridge? Yes, this is North Winds here. Has that access, plus it also has the loop that he's building as part mm -hmm. of that, runs right through the middle of that project. Mm -hmm. So this developer is building that section as part, and most of the developers are building you know, their own section. The one that we will have to build is the one uh, located behind the office building. And what is that water? Is that blue water? This is an existing detention pond, but it is actually a wet pond, so it's not an ugly detention yes. pond with the concrete walls. Is it, is it's actually going to be turned into an amenity with the green space. Uh, Phase Learning Center, this is what I've been talking about at the, on, on Webb Bridge. So the developer of the Maxwell, the developer of the Curio Hotel on Milton Avenue has this currently under construction. Very large uh, learning center that you, that, that you can see going up now from Webb Bridge. Is that a private learning center? Like, what does that mean? Yeah, yeah it's, it's a pay. It's yeah. A, yeah. Is and it I think a daycare? It's, been, it's a daycare plus they don't have the pre-K. Interesting. Yeah. Senior care? <coughs> no. That's related. <laughs> <laughs> no. But they also have an auditorium that the, that's also a play area. Uh -huh. They can hold 750 people. So they can yes. actually, special. he gives, um, the, the owner just also mm -hmm. gives inspirational uh, speeches. So they'll probably have where you can pay for, you know, using this as a conference um, center. Yeah. Um, this is the hotel that's supposed to be at the corner. I know, I keep saying hotel, but... Well, um, we, so we, do, we do need really nice hotels. We do. This would be a full-service hotel. We also have a Hilton that's a full-service coming on Willow Parkway. But you, just to compare, Alpharetta has 20 million square feet of office. And you think about it, Roswell next door is 6 million square feet of office. So you can see the difference of why we have so many more hotels. Mm. Ours basically stay like 95% full Monday through Thursday. There's not... You know, there's a lot of openings on the weekends because we don't we have uh, we don't have as many events on the weekends, but basically because of all of the office, it's, it stays pretty full. Do we have conference centers attached to the Avalon? We do attached to the Avalon Hotel, just, just Avalon. and then also uh, our hotels our our code says they have to be full service, which means you have to have meeting space. Mm -hmm. So the the extended stay got in before we changed the definition of a hotel. So now when you come in, it actually has to be a full service with that meeting space. Makes sense. Yeah. Which creates more business. Did, okay. they, did the extended stay, I thought I read something. I mean, home two suites, not extended stay. Okay. Yeah. It's what? Home, home two suites that's under construction on Morris. Where is that going to be on Morris? Morris. It's under construction on Morris. Oh, right. It's on the, I think they said they would be finished in October. I, I, just a quick question. With all this, the hotel business and all these hotels coming in and all of that, what is that impact is that having on public service and policing and it has traffic? It. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, most people in hotels, a lot of them aren't renting cars. So, I mean, you do have some, of course, that will drive. Uh, but hotels, from back in the 80s and the early 90s, hotels were allowed in many locations by right, when I say by right, you know, just like where you live, you're allowed to have a, a house. 
So a residential house. So in the 80s and 90s, a lot of these big uh, properties were allowed to have office, assisted living, and a hotel. So they can choose between those. There's nothing that we could take away. Now, once you have your zoning rights, you can't, you don't lose those zoning rights. The only thing we can do is change the definition of what those are. Mm -hmm. um, so one thing, since we saw an issue with, with a lot of extended stays, we changed the definition to say, yeah, we're not, you know, it's a hotel now means uh, full service, you can't have like appliances in the room, you know, for the extended stay. So that way we can get more of what we do need, which is a full service hotel and not um, the extended stay. Because you have all that in the apartment living that's being created now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and our apartments are the same, in downtown are the same as what we see over at Avalon. The prices just keep going up, you know, so we, we were kind of hoping that we would get um, some millennials in a mix, but they're so expensive. It's more, uh, you know, people with 250000 plus salary. Does the city have restrictions on VRVO for any of the... Uh, we don't. No. Um, they, our, our city attorney, they were asked about Airbnb. Um, our city attorney is working on a code for that right now, so there probably will be some restrictions coming forward. Most uh, most of the HOAs have addressed it individually with their with their subdivisions, but of course, there's a lot of the older subdivisions that the covenants run out after 20 years. Um, so that's something that we're we're working on the ordinance, and I know Roswell's working on one right now too. All right, North Point, of course. A lot of surface parking at North Point, which we are, um, see that as a placeholder for something better in the future. And if you look at the size, 215 acres of parking, and you can look at some of these sizes of like Piedmont Park total is 105 acres, um, Avalon 86, and City Center 26. So there's a lot to work with here going forward. <coughs> Today, this is what we, we look like, you know, with all the, of the parking. Mm -hmm. The future. Um, now we have projects that have been approved. These have actually been approved by council. So what we have is the old Sears that's located here. That's going to be demolished. Mm -hmm. um, there's uh, apartments that are added here. And I also should say this about apartments and residential. Um, Alpharetta's numbers were 3.3 jobs for every household. That's why we have such a traffic issue. Um, when you have that many jobs with all of that um, office, that causes a lot of people, you know, driving into the area. I think we're, and it, it may be on here in a minute, but we're number three in the nation of the amount of increase during the day of people because yeah. of, of that corridor of office. Where do we rank statewide for uh, daytime population? For uh, daytime is 125,000, but I don't know where it ranks statewide. But we did look at, you know, nationally, number three. Uh, with the percent increase, um, because basically we're, we're doubling our population. Number one was in Redmond, Washington, because of uh, Microsoft. So that's, and we're three, so that's pretty, that's pretty big. A lot of offices, a lot of jobs. We want jobs, so I mean, that's a good thing, but that's why we need to be working on the, the trail systems and other modes of transportation. So have, have, has the outer green road been changed in that? Yes, um, they're taking out one lane as part of this, and it will actually be a painted, um, the bright green with some bollard separation, so that will become a bike lane. Nice. Um, it'll also become a pedestrian walking lane. There's enough to get both of those and separate it. And that's on the uh, Dillard's and... No. This is Macy's. That's Macy's? Mm -hmm. And of course, Marta is looking at putting an inline station uh, at 400 here, and then there would be bridge connections here. So that's something that they're looking to do. And I thought I turned my phone that's off. That's release. Yeah. Press release. Is that the <laughs> same, that's the same conversation <laughs> that's going to stop at, Hain, at Holcomb Bridge that's going? There's this is the second one. It, so this Marta is second. proposing basically uh, three right. in Alpharetta. Uh, okay. Yeah, and one at, at Roswell. Uh, okay. Yeah. So here, you can see that they get it that you've got to get the green space in here. Mm -hmm. This is three times the amount of green space that's at Avalon. Avalon has so many people that are at that one space in front of mm -hmm. the theater. So with their plans, it'll be three times as large. So has anything been taken down on that right side of that diagram? 
No, not yet. Not yet. They were just approved so that two be, months ago. Nothing has to come down in order to do this other than the Sears. Right, right. They're actually taking out parking in order to create this. So a lot of parking will go away. I mean, there's too much. There's too much parking. You know, back when this was built in 93, we actually we planned parking for two days per year in Christmas season. So it right. didn't make a lot of sense. Um, now, you've seen this. This is um, covered in with trees, this area right here. It will still have trees, but it will also have a canopy walk through this area. This is going to become a public park. Um, what will happen is we have the Alpha Loop that's going to be on the north side of 400. It ties in over at Encore. You can bike in here and to, to this location. Now, other ways to get that, I mean, this is just kind of phase one and it will be added too. But this is like, I don't know if you've been to Fourth Ward that's on the mm -hmm. uh, belt line. Mm -hmm. So that's the idea for this, is to take that 13 acres and be able to create something that's a public park. And they've always used this as their detention area. So there's already water, um, some really nice natural features out there. So it's not like we're not going to go out here and clear the whole thing, you know, but it will be to where we make it a public park. And the mall is putting $4 million into this. So they will be doing this phase here and here at this corner. And then we're working with the owner of this piece to try to get an easement so we can make some future improvements to that area too. But you'll see some immediate improvements with the mall here. Another big problem is, you know, people can't figure out where to get, who goes first when they get to this intersection. Right. Yes. I know. So. <laughs> it's been like oh, the oh, yeah. yeah. So there'll be. Let me see if I have. There'll be some. That's here. Uh, raised, you know, decorative brick um, intersection. And it'll actually be an all-way stop, or they're looking at a tiny roundabout. But they're going to make improvements to that now because a lot of people can't figure that out. People are starting to get the yeah. roundabout thing. Yeah. Another bad location <laughs> is you probably see this. This is some condos that are for sale. They're behind the Chipotle. Um, so there, this is a really bad intersection at this location too that will also end up having a signal and we'll change that also. Well, the developer will have to do that as part of their uh, permit. So this is, a blow, this is just a blow up of this area here. You can see they have the restaurant at the entrance, the green space, uh, the residential that will be over retail, and then all of this green space is open to the public. Here's a blow up of the entrance, the new entrance. Um, they're actually, this shows a brewery over here. Breweries, of course, are big right now, so they've actually, uh, talking to someone and have this under contract for this, um, and working pretty hard to get um, some of these tenants in, so when they get started, they'll be able to move <coughs> and build it for their tenants. What is that on the right side? Is that the existing uh, this cell? No, this is this is the um, this is where Sears would be located. All of this space is, oh, okay. and this is the new residential. So it'll be like a boulevard in front of that. I think I might have a better picture. Yeah. So this is the this would be the new residential on this side, um, the new entrance into the mall, and they're very kids focused. They're trying to put a lot of green space that has some active spaces for families. That's their focus. They don't think that that market has really been tapped into as much. Uh, because they're building a 7,500 square foot internal play area. Right now that internal play area is 1,500 square feet. So it's something that, that parents, you know, moms would like, or dads, will like to take their um, kids to. I mean, if it's bad weather out there and there's a 7,500 square foot play, three level play area, that would be a pretty neat thing. Mm -hmm. And then you also have the green space outside. Very um, bike focused, pedestrian focused, as well as um, kid friendly. Are those all apartments? Yes, those are all apartments. A lot of people ask us about the um, the apartments, but right now our apartments are about 95, 97% um, leased. The other issue that we have is, of course, is that we have so many jobs. Uh, a lot of people just driving in um, to Alpharetta, so it provides another location. And then with the mall specifically, they have so many cross access easements, they couldn't sell the land away and break it away from those covenants. Um, you know, if you're going to buy a condo or you're going to buy a, a, a townhome, 
you have to own that piece. So that's why at, with phase one, they couldn't really get out of that uh, covenant. Mm -hmm. And then this is just a blow up of the uh, park amenity. And then also I'll show you Echo Park. This is behind uh, the Chipotle. Mm -hmm. And so that's that vacant piece, bad intersection right here. <laughs> uh, this is Providence Group again, um, that's looking, that's uh, been approved for this project. His, what he said here is that these are going to be 350, 400, like he said, or 450. And these are um, a lot of different amenities that have been added that people are asking for, I think, with the, the rooftop amenities. They're going to be pumping water for gardens to the top, uh, dog park, a lot of those features that, that we hear uh, people are looking for. And the whole brand for North Point is supposed to be an eco district. So really trying to brand that area differently so you'll see different architecture you'll, you'll even see different landscaping mm -hmm. within that area which is going to cool. be real important so this you know how bad it looks right now going into the mall yeah. this mm -hmm. would be the new um, entrance right through here and you see they've got like active checkerboards just a lot of different activity nice. yeah that's great 12 foot um, sidewalks and then this is a blow up actually you would see this at the corner um, this is their park area that would be created. <coughs> Who owns the mall now? Or manages the mall now? What group? Um, uh, Brookfield Properties. They actually bought it two years ago. Big uh, company. So, because right now, you know, you go to the mall and it's a teenage heaven. Yeah. Most of the stores are geared for teenagers. Are they looking to do something about that? Well, this will, this, they said that you have to kind of put your money where, you, where your mouth is mm -hmm. because they, if they think that if they see, you know, they're putting these, I think it's going to be $80 million total in improvements, that changes everything. That changes who your tenants will be, all of that. Yeah. But nobody's, they can't really make that move until they've started. And they plan on starting this in October of this year with the demolition. Wow. I think that's good though to have spaces for teens to go to. Well, they did say family. Families, teens. Different I think, ages. You know, it's, it's better to get them outside than inside. So I, I think, I think it's, it's good that they have the environment to be out and hang out in than, you know, shutting them away to get it because they're our next generation. But is it still a teen hangout? No. I don't think so. But you can make a break. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. The other thing that's happened since we passed this, uh, the North Point plan is the CESO, this is, this is the office buildings that exist, Encore, North Point Parkway. Mm -hmm. They came in with a plan um, in order to add some more green space, take out some parking, and put a couple restaurants along the front. So they also get it that you've got to be able to not have these vast areas of, of parking, and you got to get those buildings close to the street. We all don't feel very comfortable walking when it's these five-foot sidewalks, and then it's a big uh, parking lot. So that's something that they're... Um, that's been approved, also through just on review for. Um, this is now we have this that's going through. Um, now Bricksmore has submitted. This is over at Mansell. You know where the old AMC theater is, and there's actually Barnes and Noble. So now they're getting on board with coming in, con uh, creating that uh, greenway connection. This is a great um, location to get on the greenway. Mm -hmm. So they're going to have a really cool connection here. They're going to take that AMC. It's going to be converted to another theater. I can't announce who it is yet, um, but one that doesn't exist right now in Alpharetta. And then we have the Greenway connection that's really big through here. Adding some uh, restaurants and uh, small retail. Already allowed to do that with their um, current zoning. And then they're making improvements to the Barnes & Noble as well as the Starbucks. Those will stay there. So here's kind of a blow up of what that looks like and what you'll see as you uh, along. Oh, this is across the street from the Harry Norman, actually. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So what you'll see is that we're going to have um, people adding buildings at the front, a lot of active space in between. They've got fire pits here for the restaurants. They said they have a lot of interest That's a great for the restaurant. Yeah. So, and it, you know, as people, yes, it's going to be patchwork. There's no way that we can go in and, and complete this. Uh, but people, as we work with them, they come in and they're, you know, getting this done. And one thing that we did when we adopted the plan is we started having uh, quarterly meetings with people um, that are the big property owners to say, hey, do you know that we did this? This is what you need to do. This is how you can build value. So that's something that we think has really helped to move that along. So this is the placemaking plan. 
I'll, um, we just came up with this. This is the new brand for uh, North Point. These are some of the features we're looking at, a change in the signage. It's really, really traditional brick signage out there now. So placemaking comes up with a whole theme of metal materials, changing that out. We also have the, what's called the alpha that will go along the, um, some of the, the key areas. Mm -hmm. And then this is looking at a redo of the, um, the roadway itself with arbors. And then this has the, the eco qualities of having bio swales, which are just treating water as, and different landscaping to help uh, promote that look. And then uh, lastly, the greenway crossings, that's a very big part of it. So, you know, if you're at the Harry Norman office, how do you get over to the greenway? You're so intimidated with all that, the intersection, the lights, yes. you know. I know, I yeah. know. So what happens is we're actually going to take those lanes, they're about 12 feet wide. They're going to go to 10 feet, which is still fine. Um, we're not going to take any lanes away, but it's easier to walk across less pavement um, if you have, uh, you know, smaller lanes. And then that's going to create this area that's needed with the large sidewalks and provide a crossing across. Is there a dedicated bike lane? In this it will be here. Okay. And it will be separated. It will have a separation. Isn't it? Yeah. And get on the green one. But very funky, very different, very different kind of branding for this area. Cool. I think it's great. And we think that people will start even, even area, you know, adding this logo to paint it to the side of existing buildings. Just... Any discussion with the uh, Toys R Us um, across the way from us? It's gone. A lot of people looking at it. Right. Yeah. It could be. That could be another good hotel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got one behind us though. So. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm.